90% of TDD is writing test, writing the functions for it, and then changing those functions after the fact because you want to make them better or the API better, right? But that's not in the beginning. In the beginning, there's no code to test. There's no module. Like you have to set that up. So we're going to start from scratch here. We're going to run the Elm test in a watch mode. What that'll do is it'll constantly rerun the tests as I write code both in the test and modules and the file system, et cetera. So we have our requirements. We know we're going to build a last in first out order, which is basically like a LIFO queue. It means last in first out. If you don't know what a LIFO queue is, think of your browser history. Every time you go to a website, it's added to the top here, this top of this list. And where you haven't been for a while is at the bottom. And so if you have a limit on how much you can store, like let's say today or for RAM or memory, the last item will be popped out. And if you hit the back button, it's going to go to the first item in the array. So that's basically a LIFO queue. First thing we need to do, despite the fact that nothing exists, is we still need to think about how are we going to create a module? Are we going to create a bunch of modules? In this case, probably one module, I guess. So let's go create it. You're going to go lifeoq.elm. So that's our module. It exposes, well, nothing yet. And we're going to import it, import the lifeoq. And it exposes nothing yet. All right, so now you're ready to start writing tests for the actual functions because you have your module set up. 